the old funk was emanating from me. Hey guys, this is Sumfight, you're watching Yakma, and as always, it's your awesome questions, my answers. Keller Davis actually wanted to know, what is the most embarrassing moment in my life? Well, it's funny you should ask, and by funny, I mean something, and by ask, I mean not know, because the most embarrassing moment in my life, well, it's a doozy, I'll tell you that. The most embarrassing moment in my life happened when we were in Myrtle Beach. The sun was shining. I was on the beach. I had an ice cream cone earlier that day, chocolate flavored, with vanilla in it. So it would be a twist cone, and I was jamming to the beach, boys. And as always, since it was very hot when we were on vacation, I had a shirt on because I was still morbidly obese when I was very young. And in case an infant came up and he was very thirsty, I did not want him to suckle on my man boobies. So that is why I had a shirt on. It was our last night, and we went to a steakhouse, and that's where the trouble began. This is what happened at the steakhouse. As we entered the steakhouse, my taste buds tingled. I couldn't wait to get a hold of what I always ordered, the biggest thing on the menu, baby. But that night, that would do me in. As soon as I finished the biggest thing that they had on the menu, all my hard work, all of it, from the whole entire week, went down the drain, literally. I had to go use the bathroom, and I have yet to mention this, but back in the day when I was very little, I had a problem with using any bathroom that was not my home bathroom. I had made it almost the whole entire vacation without using the bathroom, and it was all gone now because of this big meal. I had to go. That meal, it did the damage, and I needed to use the bathroom. I ran in there. There was four stalls. Three were taken. I had to take one. No time to check to see if I needed to disinfect it. I had to set down then. And I had to go now. Immediately, six legs got up and ran. That's right. All three people ran out of the bathroom because the old funk was emanating from me. And you only acquire old funk when you haven't used the bathroom in a long time. Only guys know about old funk because girls do not poop. That is a natural fact right there. Everyone knows that. Old Funk was emanating everywhere. I was gagging. I could barely take it. But that was not the worst part. The worst part of this whole entire epidemic was since I had not used the bathroom in so long. I had an enormous, you know what, stuck down there that I couldn't get out. I immediately panicked. I didn't know what to do. I was looking every which way. I didn't, I just didn't know what to do. So I thought of options. My first option that I thought of was to call the fire squad. I was going to have to call the fire squad and they were going to have to pull it out. But then I thought, no, I can't because I don't know the number for the fire squad down here. My second option that came up was that I could just suck it back up and just wait until I got home. I only had to wait one more day and I could have unlimited time in my home bathroom. But that wasn't an option either. It was too late for that too. I was stuck there. And now I'll tell you this. I really don't remember what happened next. I woke up from a blackout, and I had bursted blood vessels inside of my head. But like a storm, and like a comet going over the earth, the number two had passed. There's the phone. I'm going to go get that real fast. I'm pretty sure I could have just gave this video the name, How Cody Gave Birth to the Brown Downtown. But I'm sure that would have disgusted you even more, and I would have lost even more people who actually like my videos. You know, the whole six people. Alright guys, if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer on Yakma, go ahead and send them to sumfight at gmail.com. And don't forget in the subject to put Yakma questions. Alright guys, I'm probably going to get exiled now because probably everyone is going to make fun of me now. I'm probably going to be stoned. And by stoned, I mean hit in the face with rocks. People are going to make fun of me so much for this. Peace. Girls do not poop.